Hi, once again, Pastor Bob here from TLC Church. So glad to meet with you. I want to read a text today as we begin. It's taken from the book of Romans. And chapter 12, Paul is writing, he says, Don't get even with someone who does you wrong. You do what is right. <laughs> Great counsel, huh? Sometimes so difficult to, um, to carry out. Some people really, you know, they, they really get mistreated. Some are teased at school. Some are bullied. You know, they get bullied, made fun of by text messages or Facebook messages. Some are driven to do really terrible things, like possibly get a gun and start shooting people to get even, you know. James Bain, hmm, he was sent to prison in 1974 when he was just 19 years old. He was accused of kidnapping a nine-year-old boy and doing terrible things to this little boy. He served 35 years of his life. And then just before Christmas in 2009, he was released from prison. DNA testing had proved that he was innocent. He spent 35 years in prison for a crime that he did not commit. His first telephone call was to his 77-year-old mother to let her know that he had been released from prison. Did he carry a grudge? Did he want to get even with the judge or the jury or the lawyers? <laughs> listen, listen to what he says. He said, I'm not angry because I've got God. I wonder if he found God in prison. He probably did. I wonder if God allowed him to be in prison so that he would find him. 35 years is a long time. Uh, 35 years was most of his life being served behind bars for a crime that he never committed. For what... We need to be thankful, as he was. He was thankful because he had God. We need to be thankful also, even though sometimes we get accused of things we don't do. Paul says, don't get even with someone because they mistreat you. You do the right thing. Father, I ask that Jesus would come into our lives right now, into our hearts, and help us to do the right thing, no matter what. In his name we pray, amen.